they awarded a $27 million contract to Weeks Marine for the original construction of the Army Corps' Coastal Storm Risk Management Project. And we're just so grateful that this is finally coming together. Julie Murphy, Flagler County Communications Coordinator, talking about the recent multi-million dollar grant for a beach nourishment project. Flagler County officials are informing residents that U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Jacksonville District has awarded a $27 million contract to Weeks Marine for the initial construction of its coastal storm risk management project. Work will start in June. The Army Corps is providing 65% of the total project costs for the 2.6 miles of the federal project, which is from South 6th Street to South 28th Street in Flagler Beach. It's defined as a critically eroded Atlantic shoreline. The Army Corps project is a federally authorized 50-year project that includes the construction and extension of the coastal dune and berm open beach based on pre-Hurricane Matthew dimensions. So once this is completed, the Army Corps project that is the 2.6 miles, it's a 50-year project designed to provide coastal storm risk management for the property, critical infrastructure and evacuation route, State Road A1A. The Army Corps and other public agencies will coordinate and advertise necessary road and access closures and detours as the simultaneous projects make progress. And this project will be done in conjunction with other projects along Flagler Beach shoreline. Again, construction will begin next month and take place 24 hours a day, seven days a week, with staging and beach access points located at Veterans Park, 6th Street South, and to the south of the Pebble Beach Homeowners Association beachfront property. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Tuesday, May 7th. Two lives were tragically lost in a three-vehicle crash on Interstate 95 in Ormond Beach yesterday. The incident occurred when a 38-year-old Palm Coast woman driving a Ford Fiesta lost control, leading to a collision with a Toyota Corolla and a Ford Ranger. The driver of the Fiesta and her two-year-old backseat passenger lost their lives while others sustained injuries. The crash is under investigation by the Florida Highway Patrol. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. I'm originally from upstate New York. I came down with my wife of 30 years and my son was 28 years old. We continue our coverage of the race for Flagler County Commission District 1. In New York, for the last 25 years, I worked in the bus industry, both as a driver and as an elected union official representing over 14,000 drivers. Since moving to Flagler County, Fernando Melendez says he's learned a lot about our community. A Palm Coast Virtual Citizens Academy graduate 2017, a Flagler County Citizens Academy graduate 2024, and former board member and former chair of the Flagler County Planning and Development Advisory Board. Melendez says he believes voters want a new approach. Our county government faces many difficult challenges. Fiscal shortfalls, lagging infrastructure improvements, rising crime, bad investments, bad policy decisions, and irresponsible rezoning. The people of Flagler County want a new approach. District 1 is one of three contests for the Board of County Commissioners. The primary election is August 20th. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Daryl Moody. Palm Coast City Council has a business meeting today at 6 at City Hall. Brittany Kershaw, Director of Communications and Marketing for the City of Palm Coast, has a preview. It'll start with an overview of the 2024 legislative session and then a discussion for the 2025 legislative priorities. And this will be led by city administration. Following that, we will have our graduation for our recent participants in the Palm Coast Citizens Academy. And then there will be proclamations declaring May 2024 as National Preservation Month and National Tennis Month. Following that, there will be a resolution for the approval of a Florida Department of Transportation state-funded grant agreement. And this is for the design of Old Kings Road. This is for roadway improvements that will include widening the road from two lanes to four lanes. And it will also include drainage and stormwater modifications that will allow for pedestrian and bicycle paths. As always, the public is encouraged to come to these meetings and to utilize the public comment portion of the meetings to speak directly with their city council members. There will be public comment at the beginning and the end of the meeting, as well as on each agenda item. And if you cannot attend in person, you can always listen to the meeting on the City of Palm Coast YouTube channel. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.